I'm going to attempt to build a brand new Instagram account from zero up to 1,000 active, engaged Instagram followers in under 48 hours and make a profit while doing so. So let's give it a shot. Now, I got this idea after YouTube's recommendation feed served me up a video from a guy called Jared who grew a makeup account from zero to 1K in about a week and said it was the world record. And I think I can beat that quite comfortably. But doing this on a theme page is just too easy. So I thought I would up the stakes and do this with a personal brand, taking it from zero to 1,000 followers in 48 hours and make a profit while doing so. Let's get into it. Now, the only rule I've set for this is I'm not allowed to use any of my own connections or audiences. So I'm not allowed to get free promotions from big accounts. I'm not allowed to post about this account on my personal Instagram, on my big Instagrams, on my Facebook, on this YouTube channel. By the time this video goes live, I will have already done the challenge. Aside from that, I can use any strategies that I want, but the goal is to go from zero to a thousand engaged followers in 48 hours and make a profit. So I am allowed to spend money on the account as long as I recoup that investment and profit on top of it. This way, anyone can replicate the strategy. That's enough waffling from me. Let's get into the video. First things first, I created the Instagram account. Now, as my expertise is about Instagram marketing, that's what I know. I'm gonna build my personal brand around teaching people Instagram. Now, I wanted to use the username I've used in the past at IG with Josh, but as it takes 14 days to transfer a username, I'm gonna to have to use IG with JR to start things off. I've got a good clean profile photo. I'm not following too many people and my bio is short, sharp tells people what I'm all about, shows off some of my results and encourages people to DM me if they want more information. Now, the way I'm gonna monetize this account is through a multitude of different strategies. Now, some of you know I've got a $7 Instagram course which is linked in the description down below if you wanna get it. I've also got higher level coaching programs and done for you services where I help people grow their account and actually do it for them. Again, that's all linked in the description of this video. My plan for monetizing this account is I will post a lot of content teaching people about Instagram growth and monetization, then encourage people to DM me if they want more information and close those leads into one of these three offers. So the next thing that I've done is I've gone ahead and posted nine pieces of content. Now you should not be posting nine times a day, but the reason I post a nine at the start is so as soon as someone lands on my profile, they instantly have got nine pieces of content to enjoy. The account looks full, it looks like it's a proper account rather than just having like two posts and then a new person sees it they're like what's going on and then I've also scheduled one post a day for the next week now I know this challenge is only 48 hours but I'm actually planning to grow this to 10k and then to 100k and I have videos on all of that as well too now third, I've set up some simple ads to grow my account. Now, usually I like to run these on like one or $2 a day for the first week, just until Facebook starts understanding what sort of audiences are reacting best to my ads. And then once it's adapted and I'm getting good results from them, I might increase the ad spend to three or four or five or $10 per day to grow my account quickly. But as I'm trying to hit 1000 followers within 48 hours, I've gone ahead and set it up for 13 US dollars for the first day which is $20 New Zealand inside my ad account. I'm gonna look at the results after the first 24 hours and then decide on what I'll do from there. And fourth and final, what I've done is I've followed about 10 to 20 pages in my niche that have the audience that I wanna get in front of that have got those followers and I've just started interacting with them. I've commented on some of their posts, I've replied to some of the comments on their posts, I've engaged with some of their fans and followers accounts, I've sent a few video DMs and just engaging in the community, getting my username out there and then more people have got ways to organically find my profile. And that is simply building relationships. This strategy of just replying to people, dropping comments is sort of Gary Vee's strategy and it's not gonna get you thousands of followers overnight. It will not get you from zero to a thousand in 48 hours. The ads might, but this strategy is gonna get you really, really high quality followers. If I can get a hundred followers from this strategy that are real, that are engaged and I create a relationship with them and then they all pay me a hundred dollars for consumption Consulting, that's $10,000 from 100 followers. Obviously not everyone's gonna buy it, but you see the point of having valuable relationships. Anyway, that's everything set up for now. I will get back to you in 24 hours with an update on how the challenge is going, if we've made any money, how much we've spent, and where our followers are looking. 
So I was going to wait 24 hours to do the first update and, and come back to you guys, but something cool just happened. I turned on the ads two hours ago. I've spent about $5 so far in New Zealand, which is about $3 US, and I've gained about 50 followers so far, which isn't great, but I assume after, you know, a couple days as Facebook start understanding who's reacting best with my content and as I've got more followers on the account I will likely get much more growth for the same amount of money because less people are going to follow an account claiming to be an Instagram expert that's got 50 followers or so so it is going to be a hard start I've probably picked the hardest niche to start in but anyway that aside I've had about 10 people DM me two of which just bought the $7 offer. So, so far I've made 14 US dollars and spent $3 and got 50 followers. So for today, I'm already in a profit. Even when Instagram spend the full 13 or Facebook spend the full $13 budget, I've still got a profit for day one after two hours. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with things so far. See you soon. So I just woke up, smashed out a quick workout. It's now 9 a.m. here in New Zealand, and we've been doing this challenge for just over 24 hours as I started yesterday at 8 a.m. Technically, I set up the account the night before, but didn't start until 8 a.m. yesterday because that's when the ads got approved and I officially started engaging with people and growing the account. And we just hit 460 followers on Instagram, which I am super happy with so far after 24 hours. That's a pretty big number to get in the first day. Now, unfortunately, we didn't make any more sales of the $7 mini Instagram course. However, I've got 60 plus DM requests, which I'm gonna get back to in a moment. And a lot of those people are interested in learning more about growing their Instagram. So I'll give them some free advice, give them some tips. And then if they seem like a good fit for the course, I'll send them the link. And hopefully that will lead to a few more sales to continue to keep this profitable. Now, the $13 per day ads that I've set up are continuously running and are slowly becoming more and more effective. At the start, for the first $5 or $10 it was spent, it was averaging about $0.10 cents New Zealand per profile visit, which is about $7 US. Um, and now it's sitting at about $0.04 cents New Zealand, about $0.2.5 cents US. And I assume that by the end of the day, it'll be closer to $0.01 cent per profile visit. And this is because Facebook is starting to understand who's enjoying my content more by giving the Facebook ads platform and Instagram's algorithm itself more data on who's engaging with my posts, who's enjoying it, who's just scrolling through and doesn't care. They're understanding who the target follower is and being able to show the content to more of them, which is making it cheaper for me to advertise and grow my audience. Wow, 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 he's very nice. Now, as mentioned, I had two people join the $7 course of mine, which is linked below, which means $13 spent, $14 made, and 460 followers. We are sitting at a tidy profit of $1. And as I have like 60 plus messages, I'm sure that some of them will either turn into a mini course sale, some of them might be interested in consulting, some of them might even be interested in my services. Now on top of the ads, I did a little bit more of the Gary V strategy, which is essentially go out there, find pages who have got the audience you want, leave a bunch of comments on their posts, engage with their audience, like a bunch of the comments, send a bunch of DMs, and just engage with the community. Just being super genuine, giving value, giving good advice, and that way people that go and visit that post see your valuable comment, potentially follow you. If you leave a couple of comments on their post, they might follow you back, send you a message, and so on. It's just building relationships and building those engaged fans. One guy actually gave me a free promotion to his 800 plus follower account. As I followed him, commented on a couple of his posts, and he didn't actually follow me back. He just sent me a DM, like a, a five second voice note, and I basically replied saying, hey, awesome to hear an Aussie accent as I live in New Zealand. And then from there, he must have been intrigued as there's not many of us Kiwis around on the internet and probably checked out my profile, saw the zero to 1K challenge, and posted it on his story saying how awesome it was and for people to follow me to help out. So that was pretty cool. Didn't ask for it, he just gave me a free promotion. So shout out to you. Then another Instagram expert from India who had about 1200 followers also just randomly gave me a free shout out. He, he'd messaged me, he saw my account, he replied to a bunch of my stories and we've been talking back and forth and then just out of nowhere he gave me a free promotion on his story, 
which was pretty cool. I didn't ask either of these people to promote me and both of them just shared the message. I guess they must enjoy my content and this weird Kiwi accent. Now the posts so far are getting decent engagement, sitting around 10%, they're getting about 50 likes each. Uh, the new ones, I posted another one last night, which might even get more as it's only been up for about 10 hours or so. So I'm happy with that, 24 hours in, sitting at 460 followers, a $1 profit, and I'm pretty stoked so far. Okay, quick update, I just realized that Facebook set their ad spend for the day as midnight to midnight, not obviously 9 a.m. to 9 a.m. like I'm running this challenge. So technically, yesterday I spent 13 US dollars, and between midnight and 9 a.m. today, Facebook have spent an additional $9 on growing my account, and then the other four will probably get distributed over the next 15 hours which means we're not actually at a profit of one dollar right now we're at a loss of eight dollars but to be honest i'm not too worried about that at all because like i said i've got a bunch of leads in my inbox which i can respond to and potentially turn into a consulting gig or a client or a seven dollar course sale so i'm sure i can spin a profit on that and i'm not even worried too much about making a quick buck now as in 24 to 36 hours when I had a thousand followers and people see that I've done it in like two days, they're gonna be interested in more information, potentially working with me, consulting, services, etc. So I'm not too worried, even if I'm making a loss by the time I had a thousand followers, at that point I can probably turn around and recoup my investment. Anyway, that's it for the update. I'll be back in 24 hours with a 48 hour update. And hopefully at that point we had a thousand followers and are profitable. However, I've got a funny feeling we're gonna come just short and potentially it'll take until day three, but hoping for the best, we'll see what happens. See you in 24 hours. What's up guys, another 24 hours have passed and a little bit more, it's currently 11 a.m. here on Saturday and we are just over 50 hours into this challenge. Now sadly, we did not quite hit 1,000 followers within the first 48 hours, however, we are very close, clocking in at just over 800 followers. Now in the past 24 hours, I've spent another 20 New Zealand dollars, about 13 US dollars on Facebook ads to try and grow the audience, which has got us to, as mentioned before, about 810 followers and bringing our total ad spend up to about 37 US dollars. You can see inside the ads manager, about 57 New Zealand. Now, to be completely honest, I haven't even cleared my DMs and they keep stacking up. As mentioned, I've got in my bio asking people to DM me if they wanna learn more about Instagram and which I can upsell them into my products or services. I have got about 90 DM requests, which I have not yet got back to. So I have not made any more income off this account, which means currently the income is sitting at $14. Ads is sitting at about 37, which means I'm down about 23 US dollars. And to be honest, I don't plan on monetizing until I hit 1K. I think I'll spend about another seven or so US dollars, should get us up to 1,000 followers, down $30 total technically um, US, and then I can go about monetizing it and I'm pretty sure I can make $30 from the account, which will mean that we're positive. I think I'll do some sort of story special post some sort of offer on my story and that should easily be able to bring in at least $30 from the account, which will mean we're profitable within three days after hitting a thousand followers. So that's sort of my plan. We're almost there. We should hit it sometime today. And uh, yeah, currently sitting down about $23 when I monetize the account, it should recoup that investment. Now, a quick look at the engagement, and we're currently getting decent engagement, still sitting just over 10% with recent posts, getting about 80 to 90 likes each, getting a few comments. The one thing I didn't do yesterday is I didn't do any of the Gary V strategy, which is a great way to get real targeted, high quality followers. So I didn't go out there and DM many people. I didn't comment on many posts, and that's something I think I will do more of today. Soon, I'm about to head off to football, but before I go, I think I'm just gonna DM a bunch of accounts, comment on a bunch of pages, and see if we can get some more engaged followers from doing so, as well as leaving the ads to run. So that's the update for day two. We're now into day three, and I think with in the next 10 to 12 hours should hit 1,000 followers. At that point, I will pause the ads and start trying to make an income off the account to recoup the investment and then see where we'll go from there. See you later. Also, as predicted in the ads, the cost per click was at, I think, four cents per click before. Now it's dropped down to about two cents. 
So I predicted it would go to one cent, which by tomorrow should happen. So the Facebook ads are optimizing well and the followers are just getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper to acquire. As long as I can make an income back off it, these will become quite profitable in the end. One of the reasons I haven't monetized it that much earlier is because I'm an Instagram expert that leaves me in a position where I have to wait till I've got a decent following or at least a thousand followers before I can start selling an Instagram based course. It's different if you're in the fitness niche, if you teach people how to lose weight and you've got a hundred followers and then you promote something teaching people how to lose weight, it doesn't matter what your follower count is as long as you can show people the weight loss results or the muscle gain results. Or if you're a mindset coach, you can show the mindset results. But because of my situation as an Instagram expert, you have to have a bit of a following to be credible. And so when people see my growth, see me go to a thousand within two days, even though the following is low, they'll see those results. They'll be more interested in my services and my consulting and so forth. So see you guys tomorrow for the next and hopefully final update of the zero to 1K challenge. And then I might even grow this on to 10K and then 100K and document it here on YouTube. If you wanna see that, let me know. Boom, we officially went from zero to 1,000 followers on Instagram in just 72 hours, three days. I was a day behind the original goal, but I'm still super happy with that considering, yeah, started from scratch, didn't use any of my own followings, audiences or connections. I think that's a pretty good effort. If we jump in and have a look at the recent posts on the account, we're getting just over 100 likes per post, meaning the engagement sitting around 10%, which is very, very high for a personal brand like this. As far as the costs go of doing this, I've spent a total of 50 US dollars advertising the page to do so. Now, as I continue, if I continue with this challenge, the cost per growth will just go down more and more and more as I've got more social proof on the account, so more people will be following. As the ads optimize better so I'll be more people will be following and also I will start getting a lot of organic growth from this point onwards from people sharing the content liking it pushing it onto hashtags and so on on top of this $50 spend I've spent a total of about 30 minutes doing the Gary V strategy of simply engaging with other pages I should have done more but the past few days have been pretty busy so if I'm just honest I haven't had the time to do so I've had a lot of other focuses but 30 minutes, pretty good, got a few targeted engaged followers from that, and that's pretty much it. So far, I've made three course sales of $7 directly from this account. Obviously, I've got sales coming in from YouTube and my other Instagram pages, but three directly from this Instagram account, meaning we're currently sitting at a loss of $29 US for growing to 1,000 followers, which isn't great, but isn't too bad either. In saying that, I've got over 99 DM requests as well as about 20 unread messages, which I need to get back to. Most of which are people inquiring about learning more about Instagram. Some will just wanna learn for free and check me out on YouTube, which adds to my subscriber base. Some may be interested in their $7 offer. Others may want something more, one-on-one -on -one consulting, or done for you services which I offer. So I'm gonna get back to all of those messages over the next 24 hours, see if I can generate some more income through consulting, through done for you services, and then I'll get back to you within the next 24 hours with an update of the total income from the account which will finish this zero to 1K challenge. On top of this, I'm gonna do a quick ad on my story using my social story selling technique which will essentially, hopefully, bring in a little bit more income as well from the Instagram account, which will be interesting to see. And ideally, turn a nice profit from this challenge. So, 72 hours to go from zero to 1,000 active engaged followers. And yeah, I'll get back to you within 24 hours with a quick update on the monetization, which will wrap up this video for good. Now, if you wanna see a second part to this series where I grow it to 5K, 10k, 20, 50, 100k potentially even. Let me know in the comments down below. I plan to use this as like my main personal brand for putting out content. I've got at Josh Ryan, which is just probably gonna be a bit more personal. Just photos of me traveling, doing my thing, playing sport, friends and so on. And then I'll probably use this account as a bit more of an Instagram tips, online business tips and so on. Cause I've sort of got two audiences. I've got like my friends and so on on at Josh Ryan, as well as a bunch of you legends. And then I've also got a bunch of people who want to learn Instagram, learn online marketing. So it makes sense to have two accounts. But I'll be back soon with a monetization update. That'll wrap up this video. 
See us then. So yesterday we hit 1,000 followers on Instagram after just three days. And after that, I then went ahead and posted a quick story poll, basically promoting my $7 offer to my audience. I haven't yet responded to all of the story votes. I haven't even cleared my 80 plus DMs on that account, but Either way, I still made six sales of that $7 course, and one person even bought the $37 upsell, which was a shout out on my account at Income Notebook, bringing the total income up from $21 to $100 exactly from this Instagram account. Meaning I was able to invest $51 into ads to grow from zero to 1,000 followers in three days and then turn around and generate $100 in income from the account. Meaning all in all, over those three days, not only did we grow 1,000 followers, but we made $49 in profit. That's all in US dollars, by the way, even though my ad totals are in New Zealand dollars, which I am super happy with. Even if I can break even or make a slight profit, I'm pretty happy with that. If you can put in $100, get out 110 and just keep rinsing and repeating that, great, great strategy for growth using what's called a self-liquidating offer like what I've got here. Now the cool part is these followers will continue to generate me an income. I plan to keep this account going and these initial followers are gonna help me gain more followers. They're gonna engage with my posts, they're gonna share the posts, they're gonna help me rank on hashtags, they're gonna help me get onto the explore page and all these different things which will help me grow faster and faster and faster. Not only this, but some of them will likely purchase future offers from me which just increases the revenue, which just increases the profit. Now, I was thinking about running this account completely anonymously, not telling you guys the username, not telling any of my other followers on Instagram the username, and just keeping it completely like hidden, um, and then running this as like a separate challenge to see how far I can build it. But I decided against that because of a couple reasons. First, I figured that everyone would pretty much find out pretty soon, as for me to hide that, I would have to pretty much hide everything about the account and then it would kind of defeat the purpose because for me to keep this anonymous, I'd have to hide the entire bio, I'd have to hide most of the content, I'd have to hide the logo, I'd pretty much have to hide everything and then you wouldn't really learn as much because you wouldn't be able to see what type of content's working for me, you wouldn't be able to see how I've set everything up and so it would kind of ruin it. And I've decided to massively grow this account over the next six months and onwards and turn it into like my main personal brand where I'm putting out a ton of content. I'll still have at Josh Ryan for friends. That'll just become a bit more personal and at IG with JR will become my main account for putting out content, educational tips, tricks about Instagram. And so I don't wanna slow down my legitimate business, which is Instagram, for the sake of a YouTube challenge, especially considering it would probably be kind of pointless doing this as a challenge if no one could see any of the content, if that makes sense. So my plan is I'm gonna grow this account to 100,000 followers this year in 2020, so within like the next six months, and I'm gonna document the entire thing here on YouTube. I'll show you the ads I'm running, the influencer promotions, what sort of content's working, my hashtag strategies, cross promotions, the Gary V strategy, like everything that I'm doing to grow this account so you can get a real insight into how I'm growing it. I'll show the costs of everything that I'm doing. I'll keep track of all that in a spreadsheet. And I'll also talk about the income that I'm generating from the account so you can sort of see how I'm doing it. And the third reason that I didn't want to hide this is the content, the new content that's coming out on this account probably next week is going to be so good that I don't want any of you to miss it. Anyway, I know this video is getting quite long. I hope you enjoyed the video. These videos take a lot of effort. This is probably the most amount of effort I put into a video by far. But if you do want to see me do like a fortnightly update to this account and the strategies I'm using, the tactics I'm using, how much it's costing, how much it's generating and so on, all of that, all the details, if you want to see that, let me know in the comments and if there's enough support for it, if there's enough people commenting, liking the video, I will do like an update video every like second week or something and go over what's happening on the account, how I'm doing everything and so forth. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, if you don't want to see that, that's totally cool. I can make my other videos and just grow this in the background whilst growing my YouTube channel. That wraps things up. Make sure that you like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you want to follow this account, it is at IG with JR. 
see you in the next video. Also, if you want to grab my free Instagram playlist, which goes over all of my best videos on YouTube, I've just linked my playlist down below so you can click on that. Watch it all inside of YouTube. You don't have to give me your email, none of that stuff. Go check it out. And my $7 course will also be linked below. See you in another video.